This is the Sonosite S2 vascular access ultrasound. To turn the machine on, go to the back of the machine and press the on button right here. In a few seconds, you'll hear it boot up and you'll be ready to start scanning. Once the machine's on, the home screen will look like this. It's a touch screen with two knobs. There's only one ultrasound probe which is a linear probe good for IV ultrasound starts, blocks, and a few other procedures. Make sure that your ultrasound is set to the appropriate setting. You can either choose between arterial or venous. These are the two main knobs that you'll be using. In order to control depth, you can turn this knob here. In order to control gain, which you can think of as screen brightness, you can adjust it here. If you'd like to freeze the image, there's these two arrows down at the bottom. You can then use this trackpad to scroll between small differences in images. If you'd like to take a picture, you can click on this button right here. If you want to take a video, click on the video shape button. Similar to other ultrasounds you've used, there are three additional modes. M mode, here. Color Doppler, here. Once you have the color Doppler, you can use the trackpad and get the image you'd like. If you need to change the resolution, you can do so here. Res produces the highest resolution images, but does so mainly in the near field. If you click it again, it will go to gen mode, which the machine tries to balance resolution and depth. If you click on pen, which stands for penetration, the machine will focus on having good resolution, mainly at depth. If you like to use a center line when working, you can pull it up by clicking the button here. If you need help adjusting the gain, you can click the auto gain button here, which will adjust the screen for you and help you obtain the optimal image. If for any reason you need to flip the image slash change the probe marker, you can do so here. Right now it says UL, which stands for upper left. You can flip through the various orientations, but mainly we'll want to keep it in upper left. If you need to annotate an image, such as write or create a picture, you can click this button here. You can label things, you can add a picture, or add an arrow. If we click label, We can sort through a lot of preset options. If you need to delete it, you can press here. If you'd like to label with a picture, click annotate again, go to Picto. Here we have a picture of a leg you can move this marker, which shows where the probe is on the patient's body as you're doing the exam, so that when someone looks at the image, they'll know exactly where you were.